Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Russia has developed the first vaccine against the coronavirus. The announcement was made by President Vladimir Putin during a televised video conference call with government ministers yesterday. He said one of his daughters has already been inoculated. As the number of coronavirus cases continues to rise at an alarming rate across the globe, scientists and medical experts are making accelerated efforts to develop a vaccine fit for human use. Currently, there are more than 160 vaccine candidates in different stages of production, and 27 of these have reached the human trials. While the vaccine created by Oxford University and drug maker AstraZeneca is considered one of the front runners in the race to develop a coronavirus vaccine, Russia yesterday became the first country in the world to launch its first very own coronavirus vaccine. Russia currently has two COVID-19 vaccine candidates in the race. Russia will reportedly begin producing the vaccine soon and already has plans for a massive countrywide vaccine drive. Kohima yesterday reported detection of first COVID-19 positive patient from among persons undergoing treatment in private hospitals. An inpatient of Oking Hospital Kohima, who had come from Dimapu, was tested positive yesterday, confirmed the managing director of Oking Hospital, Dr. Viketona Kesejie, adding that the true nat confirmatory test was conducted by Naga Hospital Authority, Kohima. Nevertheless, Dr. Kesejie asserted that even as the patient was admitted in VIP cabin, the said room, along with other cabins in the second floor of Oking Hospi- Hospital, has been completely sealed. He also informed that three each doctors and nurses who had come in direct contact with the said patient have undergone COVID-19 testing and while their result is awaited, they have been currently put under isolation. Further, Dr. Kesejie said that following the detection of the positive case within the hospital, all necessary precautionary measures to contain the spread of the virus has been initiated while the entire hospital has been sanitized. He said that except for sealing of the second floor of the hospital, all wards, departments and activities of the hospitals are functioning normally. Dimabu Urban Council Chairman, Federation DUCCF, has appealed to all its members to refrain from troubling or harassing frontline workers, including medical department, police department or any other departments working on the front line. In a press release, DUCCF General Secretary Zasi Viko and Assistant General Secretary Pogado Wotza also requested frontline workers to immediately contact the Federation at 9856 400094 or 87298118811 in case of any grievances. It may be mentioned that there have been continued reports of harassment against frontline workers to the extent of stopping them from entering into their own colonies. Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar virtually launched the Krishi Mech National Agricultural Research and Education System Cloud Infrastructure and Services. Speaking on the occasion yesterday, Tomar said Krishi Mech is a step forward towards digital agriculture of new India. He said Government of India and the World Bank have funded National Agricultural Higher Education Project. The project is designed for strengthening the national agricultural education system in the country with the overall objective to provide more relevant and high-quality education to the agricultural university students. He also stressed on enabling private investments in agriculture. Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishang virtually launched the Minimum Standards of Architectural Education Regulations 2020 in New Delhi yesterday. Addressing the participants, Pukriyal highlighted about the unique architectural beauty of India, its monuments and temples. He said that the Council of Architecture should draw inspiration from the present and past treasures of architecture and bring a paradigm shift in the field of architecture to make India a world leader again. The minister said the architecture of India is rooted in its history, culture and religion. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.